Andrew, it's a bit of a bleak winter's day here at HQ. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely is, all right. <laughs> we come, we wanted to have a wee chat with you. We're into 22 now, but till the end of last year, we came to see how you were getting on with the Hydra mic and you were delivering a, a new machine, PDA, and, and out into like a local quarry. Yeah, yeah. What, tell us a little bit about that particular machine. Uh, that machine's a 390 cc, it's a Hydromac 390, she's weighing in around 42 ton with a hitch and bucket and all on it. Uh, okay. The customer's very happy with it. He uh, originally bought a 640 Hydromac shovel off us, uh, you saw it before as well. Uh, oh, I over at, the, at, the, at, at, at your demo day? Yeah, yeah, so he actually bought that 640 at that time, so he did. Uh, with that off the back of the 640, then he went to the 390. But it doesn't end there. No, definitely doesn't. As you see behind me here, there's another 390 over to uh, the side there, and that is actually going to him too. Uh, the customer is ARC Quarries, and uh, it's nice to get three in the one year to him. And he likes his own wee personal touch. Ah, he does. Uh, there's, you know, there's reels just actually been bolted onto this machine today. And they're all the blue and his his way of working, you know. But they're again, and I think it's something that we should talk about. Yes, you're here to promote Hydromac Digger because you're now the agent for that. But there's going to be big, big changes in the construction side of working with diggers and all plant coming now in April, mm -hmm. and that's one of the reasons this other change has happened. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where we're getting scoring too. You know, these machines is very, very easy in fuel. Uh, that's where the customer with the 390 is noticing serious fuel efficient. Uh, the 390 is running on around 16 litres to the air, which is good for a 40 tonne machine like so it is. And uh, the saving in that alone, he's really happy with, you know, that's definitely. Uh, when you're going into clear diesel now, it's going to be crazy, the difference in uh, money. It's probably fair to say it's a bit of a game changer. Oh, uh, big in time. In the sense of, because, you know, yeah. you're close to double. Oh, it so makes yeah. no difference. More than and that's a lot more, that's double the fuel running cost for a lot of these. Yeah. So if, you've, if you're if you able to uh, work a digger, well, what, what engine's in the, the three? Uh, the 390 is a Zuzu engine, so it is Kawasaki pumps. She's a uh, six cylinder turbo. Your 230s four cylinder turbo and your 145 is four cylinder turbo as well. All Isuzu engines. How long have you been at it now, really, Andrew? Is it three years, four uh, years? Two, 2019. We more or less took it on at the end of 2019. Didn't really get much as far as stock wise through until the, the following year. So we're only more or less getting really into the swing of it big time now, you know, better now. But I mean, coming with your um, experience in plant, and I suppose this is still a very busy workshop, yeah. and you're, you know, you're predominantly JCB machines, yeah, farm yeah, machines yeah. and that through for mechanic inside, and I know you're selling away at good, you're picking up good second hand machines and, and selling and, and looking after them. So you would know your way around a digger because you've good experience in that. Are they holding up? And I know you're going to say yes, but like really, Mm. Are you confident for a man running any kind of machine, uh, come and have a go? Uh, definitely. Uh, the thing we see ourselves, you know, we have the service fans in the road. Our service fans is not worth the Hydromax. You know, they're not going there with problems all the time. It's servicing we're doing with the Hydromax. And uh, we're having no major issues. There's no, actually no issues. Uh, so at the minute, I'm, I'm just been careful, but no, we're, we're, they're doing well. Stand here and chat to you without referencing. Uh, I, I see you've got a nice wee bit of a new plant behind you there yeah. too, but that's one that you had to pay for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you bought yourself a, a, a nice wee low loader. Uh, well, I shouldn't that, say wee. Uh, <laughs> cause it's well, this stuff's getting that heavy now. It's uh, My other loader was good. It was good for bringing in the rubber wheel, the likes of your load alls, that sort of stuff. She was perfect for that. Uh, light and good to work with. We just need a uh, stronger machine now to work with, stronger uh, with the bigger diggers and that sort of thing. Yeah. Plus, well, like, even your 230 there, what kind of weight would she be coming in at? Would she be a 24 ton machine like? Uh, she is 24, 24 so, uh, 3 roughly. Yeah. You know, banging them up and down all the time is a brave bit of weight, a brave ah, bit of pressure. Sore, sore on a loader it is, uh, but um, 
it's just you had to go stronger. Just that's just the long and short of it. And from from when we were here um, and the scene came the last time, your brother actually was here, and, yeah, and we got yeah. him up and hit the yeah. show off a little bit, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and you were breathing in. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, hope it didn't happen. But I see you've got the, you know, even that, you know, even change. You've got the yard all nicely concrete and all tidied yeah, up now. So it's you're 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 obviously doing something. Well, we're trying to just keep the thing tidy and just the way it was. The loaders coming in and screwing around. Uh, stone yard wasn't the answer. And but even the way they bring the diggers in, Andrew, we remarked in this the last time. So when the digger came in, Donnelly and Ellis brought it in, mm. um, and they were they brought it all the way, I suppose, I think it was Southampton. That's right, yeah. and your fella arrived in the digger, it's a 42 ton machine, big digger, all the rams covered up, mm -hmm. and I said to you, what, and you said that's all, no bare rams and mm -hmm. transport, everything's covered up, and then you practically said there is little or no work to PDA in them. No, no. It's done. N we have never had to put oil in any of these diggers yet and we've had a fair few in and out uh, even as simple as one screen washer bottle will be up to the top so well, the, so the, the, the manufacturers put an effort in ah the attention to detail is unbelievable like so it is it's really good and you just need to keep uh, convincing just, people yeah, keep pushing them out and uh, to be honest now it's got a stage that the people's coming at us now and good. rather than me chasing them they've heard the stories they've they're starting to come back uh, that's three now to one customer ARC, uh, the one in the middle, the 230 there, that's his second one this, well, more or less within a year. So you're getting repeat customers coming back, which is good. What about the agri side of things? Have you much in stock? Agri side, hey, um, more or less sold out. Again, as you say, it's hard getting clean stuff and I'd be very fussy about what I buy. Uh, but at the minute we're, we had uh, a lot of nice load alls about us and we're completely wiped out. Uh, so we're steady looking at the minute, looking to buy more stuff, just hard to come by the low aired nice machine, you know, so it is. But. Well, just on the other side of the, the 145 there, you have a couple of sort of loader, I don't know, what what do you uh, might call those? It's a 102B. So it is, it's a rubber wheeled uh, uh, digger. Um, I suppose we can't say it these days. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that true? It's, but is it, are it, you programmed? It's an equivalent. It's, 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 it's Hydromax sort of equivalent, equivalent to, is, to, to yeah. that, that machine. Yeah. You had one of those at the demo? Ah, yeah. yeah. That's in here sold. Plus How do they go? That, that customer has bought a second one there as well, too, and ordered for next month. Uh, we have five of them in Donegal and uh, doing well, doing really well. So and what's lead time like, you know, because uh, this seems to be a big problem globally. Uh, mm -hmm. New machines are taking forever to, to... Certain models we would be slowish a wee bit on. When I say slowish, um, 390 would be two months. Okay. Uh, not too bad, you know. So if a guy's needing a machine? Mm, two months at most, you know, for a 390. Uh, 230, you could be maybe a month, month and a half and a 145, something similar, you know, but I have stuff on order, so there's stuff coming forward. Hopefully you wouldn't have to wait too long, you know. Well, look, Andrew, thanks very much for taking a minute or two and talking to us. It was nice to see the thing any go out. It was nice, you know, looking back to we had the 145 out, just for a bit of a play. We're not digger men, but we enjoy. Oh, yeah, we enjoy yeah, that yeah. side of it. It was nice to, to see the progression and the fact you're getting a few out, and it was lovely to see the big one heading in to the quarry and now just to hear there's another one on the go that's what we like to see uh businesses growing and growth and people happy with their products so yeah continued yeah. success to you and the business and uh any word of v8 uh, uh, no. <laughs> well maybe <laughs> just hit the stick to the fall a wee while longer <laughs> so, i wouldn't yeah. put your light out all no, together hey, no. you have. <laughs> uh, just go easy go easy <laughs> good man thank you very thanks much thanks very much thank you Gone tomorrow Like a spark fly